Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So King Little J made a reaction to something Van Man Kevo said on Say Cheese. Well, let me tell y'all before I show y'all this long ass video, it's eight minutes, y'all. But we're going to work through it because I want y'all to see where Van Man Kevo coming from. Now, basically, Van Man Kevo telling everybody, look, I gave the man the benefit of the doubt because a lot of people right now, Chicago is in a high agorism. So we've got a lot of haters mixed with people who just don't know too much and just commenting on stuff. See me, I do my due diligence. I do my research like little Reese said he got to do. Yeah, before I start talking. But um, yeah, so he basically saying like for King Lil J, you know, he know him to be like, you know, this tough dude, fight, whatever, boom, boom. So the stuff they were saying about his wrist being broke, like he's shooting, you know, they always tell you break your wrist and you hit the shot, never mind. You know what I'm talking about, the transmission. Yeah, the transmission at the kind under the car. The one on Lil J lap. FBJ main, we thank him for coming up with the word, the transmission. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, yeah, so Batman Kevo basically saying, you know, when you in prison, like you ain't got no business, like really, you know. First of all, PC is kind of out, really. If you really want to talk, let's talk. PC, like, it's like, a, we look at that as like a coward move, but I understand in Chicago, you know, there's a lot of ops everywhere, things like that. But uh, yeah, we don't really rock like that in Savannah, you know, and um, I don't think Ben Man Kevin, he in Chicago, I don't think he rock like that neither, the way he talking. Well, forget the PC. But in peace, like, we know that's where they send the transmissions at. You know, and Lil J can fight so why he just wanna go back there all the time. I just don't get it. But I do get it now. So basically we saying like, uh, like I agree with him, like really when you in there with those, that type, you ain't rocking like that, or you don't even go in the bathroom with me, you don't go to the bathroom by yourself. Like, no, you don't want nothing associated with that so people can start just a plain rumor. But um, Van McKellow gave him the benefit of the doubt. It was like, you know what? They hate on Chicago so much. Yeah, I ain't gonna believe it yet. But when he had a transmission sitting on his lap, that changed the game. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all give me that thumbs up. That's the like button. All you gotta do is tap it. It ain't gonna hurt your finger. Or subscribe to my channel. That way you get notifications every time I drop dear heart is off the press. Now here we go. Oh wow, and for TikTok and IG, hit the like button and follow. Whoa! But the thing about it is, after uh, y'all see uh, King J reaction or whatever, I mean, uh, see Batman Kevil talk and King J do his reaction to the video, it's like King J is mad at this man for standing on what he's standing on. Uh, you don't never know me. You don't see me in Chicago. But I'm gonna let y'all see what I said right now, right here. Yeah, on his page, cause this is where I got it off of, a little King Lil J page. Like this is gonna make us think you're not a transmission. But do you ever think about? We don't gotta know you. We fancy your music. We believe in what you say. We rocking with you. How you getting paid for YouTube? Your fans. So stop treating fans like they ain't got no say so. We just some mediocre type people. Nah, we rocking with you. So we believe in what you say. And we got to deal with like arguing with other people. To my man, King Lil J, this man. How y'all know that's real, man? Boom, 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 going hard for you. And here you go with a transmission on your lap. Proving what they said were right. Got us looking stupid. The man said he vouched for you because of what? The Chicago situation, he know people be talking. Bam man Kevin try to stand in the paint for you. FYG, FYBG Main try to stand in the paint for you. Excuse me, I almost stumbled over the letters, he got so many. But yeah, after you see them type of pictures like that, how are we gonna stand in the paint for you? You know, you talking all this tough talk, first of all, you on PC. That ain't tough at all. Second of all, um, you're choking out a transmission. For what? Talking about, I don't care if it's a guy, a girl, or who, who, who. I'm, everybody know I like to fight. And please, that sounds stupid for somebody who's been in the chain game. 
you know? And I ain't know y'all was like that in the world. You show me, yeah, y'all, yeah. Now I ain't blaming the whole Chicago, I'm blaming you. But a lot of people in D.C., I ain't gonna cap. Like, I know y'all got mad at King Yellow for saying something about D.C. But boy, the feds, man, them boys is going. That way, they still got the old, uh, uh, and all that there. But boy, I did not know. Boy, everywhere you go, like in the federal system, I'm telling tell you straight up, man, I love D.C. But I didn't know, like, the guys, they type of caliber dudes they lock up, because I think y'all ain't got no state type of prison. Y'all common law or something, so y'all gotta go to the feds. Man, a lot of those D.C. guys is on that type of time. And they homeboys slap each other in the hand, boom, ready to ride with that steel and everything. And know they doing what they do. You know, it just seems like it's normal to them, like go-go music, I don't know. It's no disrespect to DC is whatever, but I'm telling you what I experienced. You know what I'm saying, what I saw. But King J, um, yeah, man, it's nothing too much you can say about that. You got the man sitting on your lap with a ponytail, man. What else you want us to say? We done took up for you. Now you want to act gorilla like you want to be, be, be uh, yeah, be bumper to you on the street, uh, bad man Kevo. Like you just want to do something to him. You owe us an apology. Yeah, you owe the world an apology, man. We ride with you and you talking about, oh, you don't even know me like that. You ain't from Chicago. What that got to do with it, bro? And we rocking with you. It don't matter. All right, you got your views. That's how you got everything. See, that's what people need to start doing. People like you. To blackball you, we need to all come through and petition your ass, all your so-called fans. You know what I'm saying? I just start rocking with you, listen to your music. I'm like, dang, he coming back out hard. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You get mad at us for a video that got out there about you. Or instead of explaining it the right way or something, you get mad like you want to fight us. No, fight the transmission, man. Fight the transmission. But I'm going to let y'all see. Yeah, little, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to let y'all see Bam Man Kevo speak his piece on Sick Cheese. Then here we got little King Gay, yeah, wanna get mad at people for his actions or what we saw. But here it go, you guys. All you gotta do is tell us he is what he is. FBG Main say, YBG Main say, look, man, you still my homeboy, but you know, that, yeah, that's what it is. Don't be sitting here lying to us and then you get mad at us like you wanna fight us. Fight the transmission. But here it goes, you guys, right here, right now. Oh, wow. Footage that released the little Jay. Yeah. Allegedly sitting next to a transmission, yeah. kissing the transmission. There was other footage of him choking the transmission, dancing yeah. on the transmission. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you seen that, what, what was your thoughts? Man, when I seen that, G, I just was like, oh my God, G, like, I knew, like, don't get me wrong, we from Chicago. And for some reason, Chicago, is a city i'm pretty sure out of all the cities that you interview you hear the most rumors coming from where chicago 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 we have the most haters in chicago males and females so when when people were saying it the first time i kind of didn't believe it i'm like man hell no like i don't know folks uh, but when i seen that video folk uh, how he had the punk on his lap g I'm like, folks as having a whole stripper party, folks, in jail like that. I'm like, wow. So when I see it, I'm like, damn, like, folks really gay. So then I'm like, then I seen a motherfucker come out, they like, nah, folks, nah, that ain't me, bro. And then I seen that, and I'm just like, then I see the same swag, folks. It's almost like he got blue type shit, like, I feel like the reason why he choked that mug, right, is because motherfuckers must have seen it. I don't know, for it's like, damn, you choked the punk up and like, why you, why you doing that to these punks like that? G, like, I wouldn't, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't like one, one. It's number one rule, bro. When you locked up, you can't go in. A, when the punks go in the showers or they around, stay away from them. I'll, if they go in the bathroom, don't go in the bathroom. If they get in the shower, don't get in the shower. If they in, they can't sit in the TV room. So most most of the time, where they at? In PC. I don't want to be in PC. Put me in regular population, folks. I'm rocking out. We got a fight or something, or put me in a hole. 
You get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be sitting there with all these punks. Cause weird shit like that's happening. Like, and you can't deny it. You not gonna, I don't give a fuck what he say. Dude sat on your lap. Dude twerked on your lap and you let him. It's, and and it, it, it's really like, it's kind of fucked up. Cause it's like, damn, like, so like, what is you doing? Like, and you let this mom sit on your lap like, a, like it was a girl. Like you crazy. Like you tough as hell. Like you was just tough as. I don't. I be confused about niggas, bro. That's why I say I be. I be confused. I seen. That's why I seen F by FYB. He do. Uh, he he on the phone call with the nigga. Nigga like, bro, why the fuck would I do that? Yeah, I did. But then he admitted to, yeah, I did choke the punk up because the punk. Get... Nah, nigga, that much. Nah, nigga, you want to try and get that ass up, and and and, and your ass wanted to hit that thing. <laughs> you feel me type shit. So I'm kind of thinking like, man, yeah, Foe's real nasty, G. He on some island boy shit? He might as well come man. out, folk. He might as well just I, come I, out. You know, even with our interview, we did the interview, did well over a million views, easy. Uh, me and Lil J, when he got out, and he was in denial, I would have respected him if he would have just came out. No cap. And just kept it real. No cap, bro. You can't hate on somebody for keeping it real. Exactly. I just when like I Lil, see, like like Lil Wop, Lil Wop, it just people gonna laugh in the beginning, but after a while, it's just like that's just him. That's who you are. If you up in that motherfucker nailing punks to the cross, do what you do, gang. But don't get out here capping like you tough Tony, and don't be around me with that shit. I I don't want no nigga like that around me, bro. Like, bro, what's to you? Is you crazy? G? Like that's a guy. Like like you that nasty for like you that freaky, bro. Bloodbath. I don't remember if uh, I don't know if you remember he did the DJU interview. Um, he was a guy who came out saying that he seen Lil J uh, in prison with with dudes, but he was basically saying that Lil J didn't know if he was ever coming home. That's when he broke. He was basically saying he didn't know Lil J didn't know if he was ever going to come home, and that's when he started Listen, experimenting. Bro, I, don't care, I don't care if. I had to do like the rest of my life in jail. I'm not, I'm, you either gay or you not gay. Ain't no, man, let me start experiment with men and all this shit, you feel me? Like if, if, if that's what you do, then that's what you do. But like, that's how you is. Why are you capping on it then? Cause all it takes is dude just to say, yeah, Lil J did do this, then what you gonna do? Yeah, uh, uh, I guess, I think her name is Red Montana. She just did an interview with DJU. Uh, she's a, she's a transmission too, but uh, she just did an interview with DJU saying that uh, she was messing with like Lil J was messing with her in 2014, I think. Like yeah. that, like they were lovers. What? Yeah. Yeah, man. So what's your reaction to that, man? Why is recording? You know the thing that killed me, man. And all these niggas get on here doing all this capping and shit online, this blogger shit. A lot of them niggas don't know me a hundred percent. Couple of them been around me. Couple of them probably seen me in in passing or something. But a lot of niggas don't fucking know me. I keep speaking in front of somebody that you don't know. Don't know their circumstances. You don't know shit about them or what you see on the internet. My circumstances be different from a lot of motherfuckers. He talking about, oh, I would never win in PC and all this. First off, where you from? Who are you in tour with? What have you done in these streets, nigga? Don't ever speak upon no gangster if you not no gangster, man. Stay in your place, man. My circumstances are different from a lot of my friends. When I was in the county, I was turned off number one in Chicago, man. I've been touring with every BD in Chicago, man. With the motherfuckers linked up with him and all that. Yeah, Bob was in there. But this is before Bob was even after any of that shit. He was nobody in there. I let everybody get me, so yeah, I was forced to quit in protective custody, which I got a cool early getting up out of and kick your ass in GP2. But if I'm somewhere, first I'm not going to the bathroom, nothing, having no punks, no, no transgenders, whatever. I'm not going to the bathroom, no shower, none of that. But if anything happens, how I react to regular fuck, I'm gonna react to anybody. Um, bro, I don't give no fuck uh, uh, your obsession or um, um, preference or who you will. I'm gonna beat you or whatever I feel like need to be done at that point in time. And for 
they don't say, um, oh, I don't want no nigga like that around me. You can't, you gonna be around me, nigga. You not no fucking bestie or goofy, man. I'm going to you got that police shit on your name for real, for real, in the business. What? Oh, man, stop playing, man. I be knowing a lot of shit about you niggas, and this nigga, say, geez, every time he get an interview with somebody in Chicago, you steady breaking up my name. Like, what's true, you bitch ass nigga? You don't even know me. You never met me in person, or bro. You, you met me through some business shit, and you lied to me. You said when I get out, it's gonna fly me to Miami. We just gonna do all this. Yo ass is a goofy. You don't know me, man. I'm bro. You, you won't do no interview face to face with me. I'll smack you like a bitch, man. I'm bro. You niggas be doing all this in that shit. You niggas in that hoes, man. Not no gangsters. And none of that shit gonna be on the internet 24 hours uh, running these dick suckers, uh, um, gossiping like they had a Beauty shop with the curling eyes in there. Girl, you heard about this. Girl, you heard. You so bitch ass. All you hoe ass niggas, man. My bro, I'm gonna be home soon and see what all that real, 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 like, you're the op of OTF. I don't care if you was that King Bond. Man, listen, you're not showing us nothing, man. That's crazy. How you gonna sit there and blame somebody for what they saw? If you would've saw it on somebody, what you would've said? You got so much planning to do, brother. Come on, man. Man, man, Kevin was riding with you. I was too, like I say. But when you see that, man, that's like, man, you got me arguing with these ninjas. And you know what you is, bro. You know how you rocking, and you all out with it too. You all out waiting to be in the open dawn. And the man is walking up to you like that in the first time, like he kiss you and everything. So all that tough stuff you talking about, yeah, you might can squabble. Hey, you ain't the only one to fight. Yeah, that way. You need to fight them charges, man, get about it, man. But you was messing with somebody in the street. Hold it, matter of fact, let me show you y'all that too. He met somebody named Red Montana. Said she was messing with him since 14. Let me show you a clip of that. I know this video long, but hold up, I might as well do it right here, right now. Oh, uh. When did you meet Lil J? I don't know the exact when, but it was like, I was on my way to, um, I was fresh out of every grade on my way to being a freshman. So, that was like, around like 2012, or something like that. Yeah, 2012. 2011, 2012, around. Like I had been seeing him, but like we started communicating then. You said you was graduated eighth grade. What's, what's y'all age difference? Like was he around the same age or? Uh, he like, I think he like 13, is he 13? I don't know. He was he not too old than me, he was only a couple of years, like okay. three, four, not too much. Okay. And how was y'all relationship then? Like, you know, what type of guy was it to you? He was cool, like that's like he was real cool, like real, real, real cool. That's how I talked before. Remember, I was talking. I'm like, I ain't wanna, you know what I mean? Say anything, cause I don't, cause I. Don't. Well, there you have it, you guys. Enough is enough. Lil J, just come out the closet and let us know what's going on. Keep acting tough, like you gonna do this and that. Boy, anybody scared of you? Yeah, that way. That's just how it go, man. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself. If you so real. Be real to yourself, that what you like, that what you like. Yeah, everybody gonna be lying on you the same thing. The same thing. And hey, you wanna use your op, King Vaughn's a shield, he did. Oh, King Vaughn did this, but King Vaughn didn't do what you did. We know he was trying to get in PC. What'd you do? Yeah, you all up in there with it, man. Only thing you need was some ones, man. Come on, man, like, bro, we tired of this, man. Like, come on, come clean, man. Come clean with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and be really yourself once. If that what you like, that what you like, and stand on it, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Always use your mind in things. Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. But it's over for me, you guys. So you already know what time it is. It's time for me to go out hard the same way I came in. Oh, wow.